Hello, I'm Matt, welcome to Badger Workshop. Sometimes I like to slob out and eat my dinner in front of the TV, but I need a tray to eat it off, so I thought I'd make one out of some old pallet wood. So let's get started. I like the ends of my serving trays, like I like uh, something that's curvy, so I used a flexible ruler to draw out the curves. I could then go over the line with a sharpie and cut it out to make a template. This can now be put on a piece of wood, drawn around, flipped over, and then you have the end of the trays. With the two ends cut to the right length, I could then take them to the bandsaw to follow the line I've drawn. Instead of buying metal hardware to fit as handles, I wanted to just drill out some holes to use as handholds. So I used a falsener bit to remove most of the material. Then I could use a rasp to remove the rest of the material and get the shape I wanted. So that both ends of the tray would be symmetrical, I clamped them in the vise together and sanded them at the same time. Trying to get things perfect is definitely not my method of working, but I didn't want it to look too awful. I now need to rip a couple of pieces of wood down to the correct thickness for the sides and cut them to the right length on the mitre saw. It was just a case of gluing and nailing all four bits together. No fine joinery on this project, just whack some nails in it. All part of the rustic charm. For the bottom of the tray, I just cut some more wooden slats to length. This has all been pallet wood, so it's really cost me nothing. And the bottom just gets attached in the same way. A bit of glue and a lot of nails. Strangely satisfying driving a nail in by hand instead of using a brad nailer. When you manage to hit the head instead of your hand, that is. When the glue had dried, it was time for a rough sand before applying some finish. I wasn't trying to make it look too pretty. To keep with the rustic look, I thought I'd be trendy and use some chalk paint. I also like this because there's no need to undercoat. The paint had dried and then distressed it some more by rubbing some off with some sandpaper. I think the key to doing this is to try and make it look natural, so sanding bits that would wear like handles, high points or joins in the wood. One last thing to age the tray, and that was rub on some antique pine wax. When the wax had dried, I could buff it up, which took off any excess and gave it all a nice shine. And that's it all done. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.